You know just how tough this job has been for Dave Bing in his first elected office. Walked into a city with a $300 million deficit. Now, of course, that hot potato about whether or not the city's mayor should be in charge of schools. And the last time we heard Dave Bing's voice, he was firing his police chief. It was a combination of a lot of different things that led me to that decision. And it wasn't easy because he was my choice. And I'm not, I don't want to stand and say that he did a bad job. He didn't. It's only been a few days since Mayor Dave Bing fired his choice as police chief, Warren Evans. That's the second person dismissed from that position under Bing. But those who might support a recall have other issues on their minds. They cut out a lot of jobs and, you know... Uh, transportation, cut back on the transportation. Um, There's it's a lot of other stuff down there. I think he can do better than what he's been doing. I think he can do a lot better, but I think that um, the citizens, if we support each other, then we can become better. There just may be legions of Detroiters who feel just the opposite. They feel that Bing is either doing a good job or needs more time to accomplish a lot. I think he's doing an adequate job with what he has to uh, work with. And you have to give him time. You can't do everything overnight. He's doing about good as we can expect under the circumstances. So that's what I say, you know, give him a chance. I think it's fair. Just better than the last mayor. I do think that. <laughs> Cheryl Guinness is the person who filed the petition, apparently upset over the reduction in bus service for the city. So we don't really know just how organized this uh, effort to recall the mayor will be, as uh, we tried to contact her by phone this afternoon, and when we asked if she was ready for an interview, she said she was not. Reporting live on Detroit's northwest side, Bill Proctor, Channel 7 Action News.